Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the How to Build series where I'm going to go through every single champion in the game of rare quality and above and make a quick tip, quick reference guide for earlier to mid-level players. Uh, I will not go into in-game builds and, and things and I'm not going to get into masteries in these videos because masteries can get a little convoluted and be very specific based on how you want to utilize a champion and these videos would be way too long and again that's not really what these are, these are about. These are a quick reference guide for early game, transitioning into mid game players who are still learning everything and just want a little bit of advice from someone who's been doing this for a while. So that's what these videos are for. Uh, so you know, if, if, if you're using a champion and you disagree with what I say about him, feel free to leave it in the comments. There's nothing wrong with getting as much information out there as possible and there's nothing wrong with differing opinions. I'm in no way saying my way is the best way. I'm in no way saying I know better than everybody else. I just want to get some videos made because I see a lot of people asking about every champion in the game basically so I just want to get my, my first impressions out there and get some helpful information out there for the newer players so that's really what these videos are designed to do so get the notepads ready because I'm gonna kind of go through this kind of quick uh, there's not going to be a lot of graphics on the screen these are not these kinds of videos because as I said I'm gonna be trying to pump these out as quick as possible so at least on a daily basis uh, sometimes I'm gonna get more up in a day if time will allow so get the notepads ready get the pause and rewind ready if you need to but uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and get into it. So, starting in the Banner Lords, I'm going to go through all the rares. Then I'm going to come back to Banner Lords, go through all the epics, come back, go through all the legendaries. So, we're starting with the Crossbowman in Banner Lords. He is an attack champion. And quick impression from his stats, he's a little bit on the tankier side. He's, he's got a little bit more base HP than I see most rare attackers have. Uh, his... his his attack is pretty standard and his base speed is a little bit on the low side but it's not really a big deal it's not game breakingly low or anything so you could cer certainly supplement that speed and make him uh, worth worth using so let's take out his let's check out his skills and see what we think about his viability attacks one enemy has a 15% chance of placing an extra hit so 15% chance blah, 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 blah. 15% chance is pretty low. It's not going to happen very often, so it's not worth counting on. So basically just a very standard skill one. Attacks an enemy every now and then it'll be a double hit. His second skill places a 30% increased crit rate buff on an ally target for two turns and then grants an extra turn. So it's a single target crit rate buff. Now, generally, single target buffs there's almost always someone that AOE buffs something that someone else single target buffs, so it, it doesn't bode well for him. His third skill, attacks one enemy, has a 50% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn, also has a 50% chance of placing a 30% decreased speed debuff for two turns. So, by far the best thing in his kit is the decreased speed for two turns. That's going to be really nice earlier in the game while you're, while you're getting into dungeons and getting the feel of everything, getting your teams put together. That two turn speed on a dungeon boss, my back is so itchy. <laughs> that two turn slow on a dungeon boss is going to be great. That's going to help your team cycle turns. It's going to help you nuke them down much quicker. And that's a pretty nice thing to have. Now you can't stun dungeon bosses, but the decreased speed is a really nice thing to have. And I'll be honest, that's about all he's bringing to the table. Uh, sort of being an attacker so you could build him to do some damage as well as the utility of the slow. Again, I'm not, oh, I'm not too concerned with the stun. You could use it in arena. You, could, you, you can put him on your campaign team and push through as you can. And, and when he lands these things, it'll be great. Uh, you know, he, he, he's a decent hybrid of kind of support and attacker because he's got the crit rate buff and then he's got some nice debuffs that, that benefit the whole team on your side. So uh, he's not terrible, but I do think that you'll outgrow him quickly. I think if you got him early game, go ahead and, and artifact him up and we'll talk about gear in a second and, and just kind of take him everywhere you go. I wouldn't take him to clan boss, but you could take him into most dungeons earlier game. Probably not spider, unless you had a lot more AOE on the team but the speed would be nice, uh, the decreased speed, but yeah, put him on your teams if you got him early game, build him up, and then if you hit a point where you outgrow him and you're not gonna use, any, use him anymore, he can be food for, for someone else. You know, if you took him all the way up to five star even and then outgrew him, you could use him later to six star somebody else or just stick him in your champion vault in case they ever buff him. Um, but as far as artifacts go, I think 
I think with the decreased speed being what I think is the best part about his kit, you're going to want to make sure to get some accuracy on him because if he's not landing that, that decreased speed, especially in your dungeon runs, uh, he's not really doing anything for you, in my opinion. So uh, it's not a bad idea to try to get an accuracy set on him. Now, the, the, the sets that I would recommend are attack, speed, and accuracy if you're early game. Some combination of those. You could double up on attack and go accuracy for the third set and then go speed on the boots and that can be where you get your speed from. You can go attack, accuracy, speed and go attack percentage on the boots. Uh, if, if, if you're not running a speed set, I would look for speed on the boots. If you want to run attack percentage on the boots, that's the same thing I just said. So if, if you want to run speed on the boots, then you could run double attack accuracy something along those lines. Now as you start to go a little further into the game and start getting your hands on, on more artifacts, uh, when, what you generally want to do for your attackers is look for crit rate and crit damage. Now earlier in the game this is a little harder to do, so you can just focus on his attack percentage, his speed, and his accuracy if you're very early. But as you progress you want to be on the lookout for crit rate and crit damage wherever you can get them. So generally what you're looking for is crit rate as a main stat on your gloves, attack percentage is a main stat on your armor, and then speed or attack percentage on your boots, as I mentioned earlier. And some combination of attack set, speed set, accuracy set, and then again as you go a little later you could look for a crit rate set, and some combination of those sets supplementing the, the, the stats that you're not using a set for. And what I mean by that is if you go attack, speed, accuracy set, then you, you really want to look for some crit rate in your substats on all your gear. If you go attack, accuracy, crit rate set, then you want to go speed on the boots and probably even look for a little bit of speed in your substats, but, but focusing on his main stats, which are attack percentage, crit rate percentage, crit damage percentage, accuracy, speed. Those are the five things that you're generally going to look for um, on an attacker like this that has, an, has a key debuff. But uh, I think by the time you're transitioning into mid-game even, you're probably going to outgrow this dude. I don't see him sticking around very long. I think my rating for him is going to be 4 out of 10. I think he's just a little below average. I don't think he's garbage. I think he could be some fun, and I think you could get some use out of him. But I think you'll pull someone relatively quit early in the game that's going to bring more than he brings, even if it's just an, uh, uh, an AoE buff, an AoE attack buff, in addition to some sort of slow in the kit, and maybe something a little more on the, on the first skill. I just feel like there's not a lot going on in his kit. I'm not blown away by it. So That's it. As I said, I'm going to try to keep these videos relatively short and sweet, go through, give you a real quick rundown of them, what I think, what kind of gear, talk about the gear a little bit, and then where you could use them. Uh, you could kind of take them everywhere with your early game, except clan boss. You, you can't slow the clan boss, you can't stun the clan boss, and the single target crit rate buff is really not going to do much for you in clan boss, so uh, he's, just, he's, just not, he's, not, he's not doing much there, but, um, you know, have your phone with him, outgrow him, use him as food, or stick him in the vault. There you go. That's that's my thoughts on Crossbowman, 4 out of 10. Uh, that's going to do it for him. So, as I said, be on the lookout. I've, I'm, I'm going to go through every champion in this game if it kills me. So if this was not your champion, uh, <laughs> be on the lookout. It's coming, I promise. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you disagree with anything I said, I said or you want to follow up on anything I said, you know, let's get a discussion going in the comments. As I said, I'm not opposed to hearing that I'm wrong. Uh, I, I don't think that my way is the best way or that I'm better than everybody else. I'm just putting some information out, so, so I'm, I'm happy to talk about it with you in the comments down below. Other than that, I hope it was helpful. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.